stories. Truth is always better than an embellishment. Everybody thinks we need to embellish a story to make it interesting, but truth is always far better than any embellishment. And secondly, there is a difference between a story and an event. A story is, it has a beginning, middle, and an end. This is the end of a story. Uh, an event is one specific thing, like I sat on a plane next to Madonna. Hmm. That's an event. Right. Didn't have a middle or an end. No. No. But this, a story, when you think of your stories, have beginning, middles, and ends, and have them be true. I was riding horses underneath a volcano in Iceland. No embellishment there. And a gigantic wind, unexpected wind, it was a beautiful clear day like today, right. lifted me and my horse off the road in an almost tornadic fashion and lifted us off the road and threw us beside the road and then my horse ran across a lava flow and we both fell down. Now I suffered five broken bones in my neck, which is, in terms of sex and death, it's le less sexy than having herpes. <laughs> if you go up to a girl and she goes, oh, what's the matter? If you were to say, oh, well, I was working out and I did this, she right. goes, oh, cool. Right. But if you go, I broke my neck in five places, she's like, Ooh. Here's the miracle that makes this a good story, not just an event, is that before I went to Iceland, I was having recurring headaches and I thought maybe I had a brain tumor. Mm -hmm. I mean, why not? Could happen. Happens all the time. So I had an MRI done and the doctor found out that I had advanced arthritis in my neck, which was a bummer. Yeah. But when I got thrown from the horse and broke my neck, I came back to the same doctor who looked at the MRIs taken in Reykjavik, Iceland, and said that had it not been for the arthritis in my neck, I would have been killed. Because the arthritis protected my neck and def deflate, deflayed, Deferred? What's the word? Defer, it, oh, deflected. Deflected. The, deflected, right. deflected the blow to my head. So the wow. less, the metaphoric lesson of this story is a lot of times in our lives when we think things are a bummer, like arthritis of the neck, it actually could be saving our behinds. Hello. Um, today I got a special movie that I wanted to review. This is uh, Stephen Tobolowsky's birthday party. Um, for those who who listen to his podcast, um, the Tobolowsky Files, uh, it was kind of it is kind of interesting to to check out because you don't really see him. If you listen to the podcast, first of all, you know check it out. It's really really good. Uh, if you like uh, This American Life or The Moth, then you will probably get a good kick out of this uh, this podcast that that the. Uh, what were they called? I don't know what they're called, but they, they, they produced the Slash Film cast. Slash Film cast. And uh, David Chen. David Chen. Anyways, uh, so if you're a fan of that stuff, then you'll probably really dig uh, Tobolowsky Files. All of, all of his stories that he tells on the podcast always seem to resonate with uh, you, the listener. You know, you always have like, fuck, you know, I, I've been there, you know, or... Well, that's what I'm going through now, and, and it kind of, uh, I don't know, it gives you an alternate perspective, you know. Uh, this guy has already gone through that point of his life, and he tells a story, how he remembers it, and he sometimes, I don't know, he's, he's a, a really good storyteller. He'll tell you one story that happened during his childhood, and then right after he'll tell you a story that's going on in his 20s, and something that happened to him last week. And they all tie together thematically, and, and there's like a moral <laughs> to the stories he tells. Like, and I don't know, it's awesome that he could just bang them out. I mean, there, I don't know how many episodes there are. I think there's like 50-something or whatever. But each one is just amazing and worth checking out. Uh, why am I talking about the podcast so much? It's because this movie inspired the podcast. David Chen from the Slash Filmcast uh, listened... Oh no, he watched the movie, and he called him up, and he's like... I don't. I mean, I don't know exactly how it went down, but it, it went down, and they, they, they created the podcast, and uh, I'm glad. So, anyways, I checked this movie out to see, you know, what about it? You know, is it that uh, made him go, hey, man, we should make do this on a regular basis? And 
it's pretty much the same thing as a podcast. It's just him telling story after story, and there's this kind of loose theme. Uh, or the movie, anyways, there's a loose theme, and the podcast a little tighter. This is where my criticism comes in. I think he uh, he's a little tighter in the podcast. Uh, here, it's still worth checking out. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's just, uh, actually, it's not. It's just, it's just a little tweaked, I guess. Uh, the formula on the podcast, it usually revolves around a, a subject. And then, you know, that's the theme. Uh, so kind of kind of like This American Life. Um, and The Moth. Uh, here in the movie, it's just his life. You know, he, he gives like he gives you a few stories uh, that happen throughout his life. And it's, it's kind of cool to see, especially... Uh, I don't know, I guess there's another little added bonus that... You've seen him before in a movie, and you probably haven't even realized it. And, yeah, I don't know. And then plus, also, after what, listening to the podcast, uh, I guess I'm reviewing the podcast as well you know, at this point, but you, you kind of get to know the guy, you know? You kind of get to know how he thinks. And then in the movie, you just kind of really, there's a couple things that you didn't pick up in the podcast where you kind of get the impression that this guy has a little bit of an ego, telling the story. I had no idea, you know, I couldn't really get that vibe from the podcast. But here, you get a little bit more. But, I mean, not in a way that bugs you. Like, oh, that guy is such a, so full of himself. But he kind of is, but he never, never bragging, you know. I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe. He just has a, he, he thinks highly of himself, I guess. Uh, which is good, you know, I mean, you should, you yourself should feel highly of yourself. So, uh, you know, that kind of, it didn't, kind of strike me out though because you know I wasn't he doesn't come off that way in the podcast so much but here a little bit just a little bit um either way though he's probably one of the best storytellers out there um and he has this this cool presence online so check him out on, on, on his podcast and check out this movie and have an awesome day once in a generation comes an actor who has been in more films than Tom Cruise, is linked to more movie stars than Kevin Bacon, and is taller than Danny DeVito and Vern Troyer combined. Have you ever heard of Stephen Tobolowsky? No. No, I don't think I have. Ah, uh, gosh, um... I haven't, unfortunately, no. 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 Stephen Tobolowsky, no, I have not. Ah, uh, vaguely familiar. No. No, but it sounds Polish. If you were to guess who he was, what would be your guess? I think he just is starting a new magazine, right? Politician. Isn't he a playwright? Chocolate maker. Can't say I'm really familiar with it, no. A skier? Financial background of some kind? Serial killer. Well, I could be completely wrong. A porn star? <laughs> oh man, from your mouth to God's ears. I don't know. I think I've been drinking too much. Water skiing? He's a Russian scientist. I'm guessing that's you. Is that him? Are you Steven Toblowski? Steve? Is that your name? If you celebrate only one birthday this year, make sure it's Steven Tobolowski's.